Happy Friday, everyone. Welcome back to Popcorn. I'm your host, Karen Hua. And this week, we are preparing for Easter, which is why we are downtown here at the hottest new eatery, Dot and Aunt, at the corner of 18th and O Streets. They're a completely seasonal eatery, which means that everything they serve comes from their partner farm, Pick a Little Farms, just 10 minutes down the road here. So they've invited us in today. We're gonna be doing an Easter activity, making some Easter brunch. So let's hop to it. So we're inside Dot and Ott, and I'm here with Christine Spurcheck. She's the manager at Dot and Ott Eatery. And what are we going to be doing here today? So we are dying eggs. That's an Easter tradition in my household. Yeah. But um, the fun part about it is we're using beet, pureed beets to dye the eggs. And so we basically have here a bunch of white hard-boiled eggs. Um, it's roasted beets that we pureed. Whoa. I mixed them with water. Check out this color. And that pretty. Uh, you could use any sort of greens to also make a puree. Ooh, OK. Um, so you want to cook it, roast it, you can also boil it and then puree it. You could use gloves, I'm not using gloves, but it's really all you do is you take your egg and you stick it in the in the dye and let it soak for I would say five to ten minutes. Okay, there they go. They're all in there. <laughs> it's a full bath. And what else can you do to decorate these? I've heard you know people use crayons, they use jewels, stickers. You can pretty much do anything. You, if you do crayons beforehand and then you dye, the wax leaves an impression. Yeah, you could bejewel them, you could paint them. I think we're gonna let these soak for a bit Perfect. while we make our Easter brunch spread. So while our eggs sit in this beautiful beet juice bath, we're gonna be making a lovely brunch spread. So I'm here with the head chef at Dot and Ot, Taki Kato. Very exciting. What are we gonna be making here today? Uh, we have a carrot top pesto uh, toast. So is this like a take on the classic avocado toast? Exactly, I almost even said it. You are, of course, in a very experienced chef, but do you think it takes a really experienced chef on, you know, a busy Easter morning to prepare this? Actually, not at all. It's very simple to make. Pistachios, garlic, and the carrot tops. And then once it's uh, in the food processor, we slowly drizzle in olive oil, lemon juice, mm -hmm. and then we, uh, to taste, we add salt, pepper, and, uh, that's it. You know, it's really interesting because when you say carrot top toast, you know, I envision something that's orange. I mean, this is green because I correct. guess you use the tops of correct, correct, the correct. carrots. We like to use every single uh, element of our ingredients. And so the carrot tops do have an earthy and a little bit of sweet flavor to it. Okay, great. I mean, it, like you said, it's something that people just naturally get rid of when they buy carrots. Correct. So yeah, let's hop to it. Excellent. And so what I like to do first is I like to get the uh, bread. Uh, as you can see, it's got a little char on it. I put a little olive oil, mixture of oregano, thyme, and parsley, and we sprinkle that on there with a little sea salt, a little freshly cracked black pepper, and then we uh, char it on all sides, and once we do that, mm. we get a nice, nice healthy portion of our pesto, spread it on nice and thick, and once that's on there, top it with our Valentine's uh, Easter egg radishes that are uh, sliced thin. Once that's ready to go, wow. just hit it with a little bit of lemon juice, a little bit of olive oil, sea salt, and then right here we have some of our wonderful edible flowers that she grows for us. These are brassica flowers that come from our cauliflower, and these are uh, the daikons that come from our um, daikon flowers, and these are arugula flowers that come from our arugula. Absolutely beautiful. Again, I am not an expert in the kitchen at all, but I feel like I could take a stab at this. I like, think you Mr. Morning. You try? Sure, let's go for it. <laughs> you might have to walk me through it. Savory. And yes, that's what I do too. I, I eat as I go. You eat them wrong. Exactly. They're so fresh. They're so good. I'll get yours and I'll get I'll get mine right next to it and we'll see which one's prettiest. <laughs> it might be yours. <laughs> and this is just so much fun. I feel like, you know, mothers and their kids can be doing this in the kitchen exactly, as they prep. Exactly. As you eat. And then look 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 at yours. It looks beautiful. Oh my gosh. It's fantastic. You're hired. <laughs> Oh, you might regret that one. <laughs> it could be just sort of like a dipping thing, too. So you could just have a nice arrangement of bread. Someone can come up, grab a little pesto, grab a little radish, put it on top. It's like a crudite, really. Yes, exactly. And so now for probably my favorite part. Can we taste these? Absolutely. I would love for you to taste that. Please. All right, you and me both. OK, so let me eat yours, and you can eat mine. How's OK, that? perfect. Ready? Cheers. Cheers. Come by. Mm. I'm, I'm enjoying myself here. <laughs> Mouth's full. <laughs> well, thank you so much. Thank you. And here we have our eggs. They've been soaking in this bath for about 10 minutes. They come out a lovely light pink color. Easter made. There you go. Happy Easter. Happy Easter. 
Thank you guys so much for joining us this week on Pop Current. Check back in here next Friday at noon for another episode.